let's learn about the machine learning process. All right, there's a process, and this is it. Before we get started, we have to talk about two things. Number one and number two. And these are the different types of machine learning. One is called unsupervised, we'll call it unsuper, and we'll call it supervised. The goal of unsupervised learning is to model the underlying structure in order to learn more about the data, right? So in this, there is no data set, no DS, right? This is not that common. Supervised learning is where we have a data set. And it's usually a CSV file. And we point our algorithms towards the data set. This is 99% of all applied machine learning. Applied machine learning is someone hires you, you work in the real world, you build models, you implement those models, and people consume those models, right? So in the supervised learning machine world, we need data, and it's gonna be raw data. And what's raw data mean? If you're lucky enough, it's going to be in a relational database or an Excel spreadsheet where you can easily clean it. Now, that's not what's going to happen most of the time. Most of the time, it's going to be yucky. It's going to be unstructured data, and you're going to have to structure it. And this is part of the process that no one really likes. This is cleaning the data. All right, so we've got our data, and then we have to clean it. And this cleansing part really accounts for about 80% of our workday. Building the model accounts for only a small part of what we're going to do. This, this is the big one. We're going to spend a lot of time cleansing our data because data in the real world is dirty. Now, a lot of the tutorials you'll do, including all of mine, are cleaned CSV files. Right? The data is given to you in a CSV file, and all you have to do is build a model against it. And that's a lot of fun, but that's not what happens in the real world. So our next step accounts for about uh, 10%. And this is actually building the model. This is the fun part. This is where we decide which algorithm to use, and this is where we use Python got our Python and we're building models and we're looking at the results and after we build the model we need to make a prediction well we don't the model does the models gonna make a prediction so it's really a four-step process we've got to get our data somewhere right we've got to cleanse it this is not the fun part but the part that's gonna take most of the time we're gonna build our models this is the fun part. And then there's going to be an output. And then we're going to look at different metrics to see if the output is what we want. If not, then we have to go back to the model building process and start over. All right? So it's an iterative process after the data is cleaned. And you just create this circular process until you're happy with your model. What happens when you're happy with your model? You exit the loop and go ahead, put it in production. And that means you allow someone to consume your model. That means they're going to take some data here and they're going to put X and Y in here and then they're going to get results. And based on your model, they're going to act on those results. Right? And these results could be anything right that is the predictive modeling process in python and actually in any supervised machine learning project mm -hmm.